more detailed list of what the FBI sees from Mar-a-Lago to be made public, judge said. A federal judge said Thursday she would make public a more detailed list of what the FBI sees from former President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate as lawyer for Donald Trump. And the Justice Department faced off in a federal courtroom in Florida on Thursday, for the first time in a case involving the unprecedented search of his home. U.S. District Judge Aline Cannon did not immediately rule, however, on the Trump's lawyer request to appoint a special master to review all of the evidence seized in August 8 search to determine whether any of includes potential attorney clients. Or executive privilege issues, Trump's lawyer had requested a more detailed inventory of what investigators sees, contending the visions they got from the government was too vague. They asked for a detailed account of exactly what was seized and where it was located when seized. Trump's team also said they want a third-party special master to share all the evidence with them, including the affidavits laying out. The government's case that was used to the search warrant in the first place. The Justice Department was ready for the possibility of the judge could order that the more detailed list be unsealed, saying in a court filing earlier this week that the government is prepared, given the extraordinary circumstances, to unseal more detail received and provide it immediately to plaintiff. It's unclear when the document will be released. While the government characterized the case in grave terms related to national security and classified documents, Trump lawyer Jim Trusty compared it to something more mundane. We have characterized it at time as an overdue library book scenario, where there's a dispute, not even a dispute, but ongoing negotiation, with that suddenly been transformed into a criminal investigation. He said. Sidestepping that the Justice Department had issued subpoena for the document this year, Trump lawyer Chris Kies told NBC News, "The controversy needs to be placed in a proper context. We have talked about presidential records in the 45th presidents of the United States at a location that he utilized frequently when he was president to conduct the official business of the United States." This is not some Department of Defense staffer stuffing national security secret into a paper bag and sneaking out the back door. Throughout the hearing, Cannon, a Trump appointee, had more questions for the government than for the former president's team, and repeatedly asked why she shouldn't appoint a master. Justice Department attorney argue a special master was either superfluous or unwarranted. When it came to Trump's claim about executive privilege, pointing to a 1977 case, Nixon, a government attorney, told the court that Trump couldn't invoke the privilege because he was no longer the executive. I don't know if that's right, Cannon said. It seems to me like you're potentially overreading Nixon, and to say now that there's absolutely no room for a former executive to raise a claim of executive privilege. At least for some period of time, it's not entirely decided in the law, so I'm not sure if it's cut and dried as you suggest. Jay Brad, a top counterintelligence official at the Justice Department, argued that the bottom line was that Trump had a task of document that don't belong to him. He is no longer the president, and because he's no longer the president, he had no right to those document. That ends the analyst. Brad said. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.